Well, good morning. Happy Thursday to you. I hope you've had a blessed week all week long. And we're going to have a, a wonderful time this morning as we continue about God makes man. Uh, today we want to talk about, we're using the same scripture, Genesis scripture, where God stands out and he makes the heaven and the earth. He creates the water and the fowl and the fish and all that. And then God turns around and says, hey, I'm still lonely. And in that loneliness, God makes a man. Today we want to talk about how God makes strong men. God does not make a weakling. <laughs> God put a lot of effort and energy in making man. You see, the strength of man is not measured by his education. It's not measured by his financial status, nor his physique. You see, there are many men who are well educated. They're financially secure and they are muscular built. But they are weak. They are weak individuals when it comes to some of the essence of life. Do you remember Popeye the Sailor? Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye was a sailor and he had huge biceps and huge muscles and he was a strong type person at times, but then he would not be able to do the things he needed to do without spinach. He had to have spinach in order to do the heroic, heroic kind of things. See, persons who are made many times, they have no backbone. Are there some men in the world who stand for nothing and fall for everything? Well, 2 Timothy 1, 2 points to another attribute that God give believing men strength and power. You see, Jesus had 12 disciples. All 12 of them were weak at the beginning. When he called them from their daily task of being fishers or fishermen or, or other things, they were very weakling. They were very weak in their faith. And, and in following this Jesus, they left everything behind and they weren't quite sure, wasn't quite sure that everything he talked about was what he would actually do. One was so weak, he betrayed Christ and then he hung himself. Even when Jesus agonized about his future, there were some who couldn't even stay awake to protect him. Matthew 25 says, and he come unto the disciples and find them asleep. And said unto Peter, what, could you not watch with me one hour? Could you just not watch with me for one hour? You see, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yet 11 of these men ultimately put their lives in God's hand and they grew in strength by studying the word of Christ. You see, close fellowship with each other, leaning heavily on their faith, a bill allowed them to have a great faith in God. Paul writes to the Ephesians, encouraging them to build their strength. Ephesians 6:10. Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You see, he encouraged every believing man to put on the whole armor of God to protect against the wiles of the devil. Oh gosh, the wiles of the devil is running rampant in the world today. We're dealing with all of this pandemic stuff. We're dealing with all of the, the hate crimes. We're dealing with all of racism and sexism and ageism and all of these things. And we really feel that a lot of this stuff is of the devil. A lot of the harsh and heavy things that are being done today is because the devil is running through like a wild, wild, wild animal trying to see whom he can devour. Well, in John 15, five, he says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abide in me, the same bring forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. It is in him that we move and in him that we have our being. And without him, my brothers, we might as well not move at all. That's what Samson learned and every believing man after him. Without God, every man is weak. With God, every man is strong. The songwriter said, without God, I can do nothing. Without him, I would fail. Without him, my life would be rugged like a ship without a sail. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, we don't want to be wandering in the wilderness and loss. We want to have full control. We want to be in charge of the life you have given us and making the right decisions and doing your will. 
So help us this day to be vigilant. Help us to be sound thinking persons. Help us to include you in every thought and every action we make or do. Bless this day as we go out from this place and make a difference in the world because we are strong and you have empowered us with the Holy Spirit to do all things in your name. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.